Of so much of what we do during the holidays, and that is bringing out some classic dishes. Today, Debbie is going to show us how to make a Greek holiday favorite, which is in her family a favorite. This is perastopita. Am I saying it right? Oh, Paris. Paris. Not even close. Praso. Praso means green. Prasino means green. So praso. Praso. Pita. Pita. Prasopita. The Zeus of three lemons. The Zeus of three lemons. All prasopita is is leek and cheese filled filo. Uh -huh. It's a really nice twist on like a spanakopita or a tiropita. This one's made more around the holidays than any other time of the year. For one, it's because leeks are more expensive than onions. So leek, I said okay. leeks are, if, if onions died and went to heaven, they'd be a leek. That's what they want to be. <laughs> right. like but that. our executive chef here, Shanti, uh, one-upped me and was even better. And she said, no, actually, the leek is the more sophisticated older sister of the onion. Oh my uh, God. And I really appreciate that. Kind of like it's like Sophie is but why, compared uh, to me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was my father's favorite dish and it always reminds me of the holidays and being with my family and my father's past, as you know, so we still like to keep up the tradition of making this for this, him. So I mean, this yes. is what makes it this perfect. Is, yeah, oh my gosh, look at us. That's us in Greece. That's me oh, sitting down with the, no. wow, look at my brother's jeans up to his neck. That was very, no. that's at the Acropolis. <laughs> <laughs> and then on the right, my sister was taking the picture, so her outfit was probably just as bad and then to oh, oh and that's gosh. me and my parents oh as my well that's why me. is the why is oh, the leak daddy. like why is it well so the leak so is oh, it's very special because of greek mythology um the goddess Leda, who is apollo and artemis's mother in greek mythology actually when she was pregnant she craved lots of leeks so all the demigods like to impress her would bring her leeks so leek is like a very it's a kind of very majestic sort of vegetable sure. And also, I'm going to tell you something. When you're making these, yeah, I'm going to start cooking. You guys start yeah. eating. This is it's so delicious. delicious. You have to be very <laughs> careful. Leeks it's are really thick, really and also they're very dirty inside. There's a lot of sand and a lot of dirt yeah. that's caught up in between here. You probably can't see it so well because Shanti's so amazing. She washed them all. But when you make this, you're going to want to cut them, cut the whites and separate wow. them from the greens, and then also wash almost every single leaf of the leek. It's kind of laborious and taxing, but you don't want sand in your food. It will be delicious mm. if you just do it that way. Right. So it's pretty simple. It's basic, okay? You have really four eggs and some ricotta cheese. You have feta cheese. You have um, flat leaf parsley, mint, salt, and pepper. And this is melted butter. Now, like I said, you separate the white leeks from the green leeks and you saute them. You saute the green leeks in a separate pan than the white because as you see, it's a big vegetable. And if you put them all in at once, they're mm -hmm. gonna start falling out. Nutritional value of the leek is what? Amazing. Oh, they it is so, really so good cool. for you. Yes. Like loaded really? with what, potassium? Oh, it's just loaded with everything. All mineral. kinds of stuff. Wow. It's really, really good for you. So. This, by the way, you, you do the green first for eight minutes. You do the, the white of the leek for six minutes. Then you combine them. You put them right here in a big mixing bowl. Mix them together. Aren't they a little sweeter, too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. It's very, with very, very yeah. good. It's so easy. You mix in the ricotta and the oh. egg. Just pour it in. Wow. Very simple. The feta. Oops. Flat leaf parsley. Mint. Mm -hmm. Some salt and pepper, not too much salt because remember feta is right full of salt. Yeah. You mix it together. I'm not going to yeah. mix it like Kat did with her hands because that would be a little too dirty for me. <laughs> Even though I'm from the south too, Kat. <laughs> also from southern Greece. <laughs> I'm from Richmond, Virginia via southern Greece. <laughs> All right. So you just mix that together. Then you're going to take a full packet of phyllo dough. And phyllo is very finicky. I don't know if you've ever worked with phyllo, uh -huh. but it's yeah. so finicky. you got to work quick. So you take about comes in either t 20 sheets or 12 sheets. If you have the 12 sheet one, you put six on the bottom and six on the top, and you do two at a time. So we've already done this. You put two at a time, you put some butter on it, then you put the mixture inside. Debbie, could you use oil instead of butter for Absolutely. between the sheets? Absolutely, that's actually in my cookbook. You use olive oil oh. instead of the butter. Okay. But I really, around Christmas time, we usually use the butter because we want it to be that extra, extra savory. And it's yeah, only yeah, once that. a year. The rest of the time, we use yeah, the olive oil. Could you use white chocolate and golden green? <laughs> 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 uh, that would be a different kind sweet, of pita. Sweet and savory. Yeah, so okay. That would be a Mississippi pita. <laughs> <laughs> Then you take the phyllo. <laughs> now here's a little um, tip. When you're working with phyllo dough, have like a damp towel or a damp napkin on top because it gets so brittle. She's a real mm. diva, this phyllo. This <laughs> yeah, if is. you don't work with her fast, she gets brittle, she's angry, she's it's awful so on the oh. set. You just, you know, not the person you want to be around. Like okay, so you do two sheets at a time. Oh, Wait, see what I mean? We're ready. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you butter it. You don't get too much butter on it because you don't want it to seep through too much, you know? And you continue this with two more until you're finished. 
And then very important as well, after you um, get all the, see, it's there. You have to be really, really sensitive with this. That, those are better because they weren't as wet as the other ones. See how much smoother this is now? Mm -hmm. yeah. Where the ones before were a little difficult. So and that's just bonding agents you're putting mm. there. Yeah, it is. It's actually what's the glue you use? Uh, e6000. Yeah, it's E6000. E6, it's E6000. Right. It helps with digestion. Wow. And don't worry about the overlap because you can either cut it off or it's fine to be overlapped. Yeah. It's okay. Is the brittle part when if it gets brittle does it take the flavor away at all? It doesn't. Or just no, texture? it just. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you don't want it broken before it goes in the oven, especially because these things, again, they're served on the Christmas sure. dinner table. Sometimes you're taking them to people's houses. You don't want it to look messy. You know, you want it to work and look beautiful. Mm -hmm. And another tip to make sure it does look beautiful is that you have to score it before you put it in the oven. Because if you don't, you know what, this is going to take forever. So I'm just going <laughs> to go ahead. I'm going to show you what you have to do. You want to finish putting the filo dough on top really okay. nicely. All six, the, the remaining yeah. six. The remaining yeah. six. Okay. But score it. Because if you don't score this before you put it in the oven and you try to cut the filo dough when it comes out, it's going to be a Shatter. disaster. It's shatters. Yes. It's just, yeah, it shatters. So you just have to really lightly go through. Look. Pretty simple. Mm. It takes a little finessing, but it's okay. It'll work. See? Da, 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 da. I like your little strong. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. If you don't make yeah. that, or maybe do it with a Greek <laughs> accent. Da, 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 <laughs> yeah, how did your mom do it? There you go. Ah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Julie's on. There you go. That actually sounded like the um, it is six, six million dollar man. It was six million. Dollars. <laughs> okay, so after you've scored the whole thing, you put it in the oven for 50 minutes to an hour at 350. And that's what comes out. You see that? Oh. Wow. So pretty. So pretty. Is it good? It's Very so good. Is it yeah, as good as Orly. the juice of Orly lemons? I know. Mm. This is. Look at Orly. It's and, it's, and it's light. I know. You know? It's that, light. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And by the way, I didn't notice the sweater you're supposed to be wearing. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. What happened? Listen, it might be Christmas in July, but it's July, and it's like a thousand degrees, and that sweater's really hot. Excuses, excuses. I know, right? Oh, 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 o